What's up you guys? It's Lindsay. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. So to start I'm showing you my Matrix Biolage Volume Bloom Full Lift Volumizer Spray and my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I take my hair out of the towel and then I take about three pumps of the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum and I rub it through my hair going both directions. And then I take the Volume Bloom Spray, I flip my head upside down, and then I struggle to get it to spray. Once I get it to spray, I flip my head upside down, spray my hair, and then start blow drying. I do my hair upside down because whenever I do this, it gives me more volume versus if I was to stand upright and blow dry my hair. This causes the hair to stand up more and give me more volume. So, just blow drying my hair. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out start straightening my hair so I'm going to take my hair dryer and wind it up wind my cord up so it doesn't get all tangled and put it away and get my straightener a comb and a clip out comb clip straightener I then unwind my straightener and plug it in and turn it on and wait for it to heat up. And I pull my cord like that to make sure it doesn't get as uh, it doesn't get kinks or knots in the cord. We turn it on and we wait for it to heat up. While we wait for it to heat up, I take some firewall it's a flat iron spray by AG Hair Care, and I'm going to spray that through my hair. As you can see, I spray, I will lift a portion of my hair and then spray it, and then I take a brush and just brush it to make sure it's evenly distributed. Once I do that, I take a section, I start at the top of my ears, and then I put all that up in a bun on top of my head with my clip that you saw earlier. I really just twist my hair and then throw it on top of my head so it looks really funny. I then take my hair, I part it down the middle of, of my head and I start straightening from the front and I do pretty quick passes. I just run my straightener down my hair. I don't let it sit for an extended period of time. And then I flip my hair back like that so that way I know what I have to straighten and what I have left, what I have done. Because the hair that I've straightened stays in the front, and the hair that hasn't been done stays behind my shoulders, generally. You can see I'm pulling it from the back, and I start straightening. Then, once it's all done, I will straighten the section as a whole, making sure I don't miss any individual hairs. 
and you can see the difference between straight and not straight. I heard the noise, glass on the ground Treading a thin line, keep me sound Drown out the voice, letting us down They lose the power with you around I remember burning, you knew I was hurting, oh Yeah, you kept me safe, you kept me sound Don't know the streets we roam Graffiti on the walls inside my bones Mark me like stone I'm all messed up but I'm by your side You kill the darkness with your light I thought you should know You make this feel like home On the ground, treading a thin line, keep me sound. Next, it's time for me to put my contacts in. So, if you're squeamish, you can skip through this. But I take my contact, shake off the extra solution off my fingers, take off my glasses, and then I just pop it in my eye. And since this contact had a little bit of solution left in it, it kind of made my eyes large, so that's why I rub my eyes. To make sure it doesn't fall out. Done the right, now it's time to do the left. Same thing, put the cap back on and then take the cap off the other side. I take my contact out, place it on my finger and make sure I get all the solution off it so it makes putting it on my eye easier. And then I just, boop, and it goes. And then we rub the eyes to make sure we're comfy. Because, you know, that's a part of it. And then I'll also ignore the fact that you can hear Scooby-Doo playing in the background because I am a complete child at heart. No, no shame. Next, we check our straightener to make sure it has cooled down. And then I put it off to the side so that way I don't burn myself while putting on my makeup or putting makeup out to be used. And then, since normally I'll do this whenever I do my makeup, I'll put my hair up in a bun. It doesn't, or a ponytail, it doesn't have to be perfect. I had to go get a ponytail holder, but I put it up in a ponytail, doesn't have to be perfect, and then it's time to get the makeup out. And then once I get the makeup out, I 
I figure I wasn't feeling the bun, so I just flipped it into a ponytail. But first, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Prime 400 Primer that I got at Walmart. And I'll just put dots of it all over my face. And then I just blend it all in with my fingers. Then we put the cap back on and put it away. Now I wipe my hands to get all the oily feeling off of them to make sure I don't drop anything or mess up my makeup because my hands are all slick. Now it's time for my beauty blender. Ignore how disgusting it is. And boom! It grew. It's magic. But we're good to go. I like to make sure my beauty blender is moistened and then I take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in number 115 Ivory. I'll shake it up, make sure it's blended nicely, then I pour a little bit on the back of my hand and I will dab my beauty blender in it. And once I dab my beauty blender in it, I just rub it all over my face, just blending it in to make sure it's nice and seamless. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? Now we put the cap back on this and put it away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, it's time for my Tarte Shape Tape, which is my concealer. And it is in, after I drop it, it is in the shade Fair Beige. I'm sorry, this is backwards. I figured my camera would flip it once I edited it, but it did not. But I'll do the triangles under my eyes, and then I do my, my highlight spots down my nose and my chin. And then I just blend it in with my damp beauty, with my damp beauty blender. Good to go. Next, I take a fluffy brush from Eco Tools, and then I take my Matte Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me 100 pressed powder, and I just will rub my brush in this, and then rub it all over my face, just to make sure I can set in all that liquid, and set it really good, make sure it doesn't slough off during the day. Next is time for contour. I am using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I'm just using an angled brush I got in one of my Ipsy bags a long time ago, and I'll just start carving my face. I do my cheekbones, my jaw, and my temples, and then my forehead. I don't really worry about my nose because my nose is big enough, and I don't like contouring it because it just makes it look bigger in my opinion, so I don't contour my nose. And then we get a very fluffy brush, and it's time for blush. I'm using Cabana Boy by The Balm. It's a nice summer shade. And I'll just dust it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I sort of blend it up my cheekbone. Next, it's time for highlighter. I am using Maybelline Master Holographic. I get just a little fluffy blending brush that I use for my eyes and I'll just rub it. I'll get some on my brush and then brush it on my cheeks. I do the cheek, I do the highlight points of the cheekbones, the nose, and above the lip for highlight. And then there is my cat, trying to make an appearance. And then I take some fit, some matte finishing spray by NYX, and I will spray my face with this, and then I take my beauty blender while it's still damp, and I'll just kind of pat my face after I spray it with the setting spray, because that just kind of packs everything down and ensures it's not going to slough off or crease or fade throughout the day.
Now it's time to prime my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And I am running very low on this, so a little bit goes a long way. And then you take your ring finger and pat it your eye, and you use the ring finger because it's one of your weakest fingers. So versus using your index finger or your other finger, your ring finger is weaker, so it doesn't put as much pressure on your eyelids, causing them to have wrinkles or things of that nature. Now I'm just cleaning my brushes. You can see they were quite filthy, so I'm just cleaning them very quickly. Now it's time to bring out my beautiful Jaclyn Hill palette, which I'm going to be using for this look. And then I open it up and I will remove the plastic film. And then I get the fluffy blending brush that I used for my highlighter. I use a lot for the beginning parts of my makeup looks. So the first color that we are going to be dipping into is called Beam. And it's just a very nice shade to put on over your primer to soften it up and it not be quite so harsh. Next we are dipping into MFEO and Faint and we're going to mix those two together and apply that in the crease in a windshield wiper fashion. Next, it's time to go into Butter and Pooter, and I mix those together, and I will layer those on top of the first I just did, using those colors to darken up that crease just a little bit. And then I also blend it on the lower lash line. Then I'll take a smaller brush and I'm going to dip into Roxanne and Jax and I'm going to mix those two together and then I'm going to apply those to the crease to just deepen it up a little bit and if it gets on my eyelid it's perfectly fine. I just kind of played that to my advantage even though that wasn't part of the plan. Do the same on the other eye, of course not worrying if it gets on your eyelid because it all comes out in the end. Then I take Mocha and Central Park and I mix those together and I do those in the crease as well just to give it that depth that I'm wanting. And then I'll take a fluffy blending brush and just go over the makeup I just put on to soften up the edges and make sure it's not so noticeably, you know, just boo, there's, a, there's dark shadow. It softens it up. Then we get our MAC Fix Plus Spray. I love this stuff. It is a absolute amazing product. And then I'm going to take Pool Party and Jada, and I actually ended up just only using Pool Party in this look because I decided it went better. So I'm going to take a flat brush by NYX. I believe it's a number 14 brush. It's just a flat shading brush. I spray some MAC Fix Plus on there, and then I dip into Pool Party, which you can see puts a lot of pigment on that brush. And then I just start working it in my outer corner. I work from my outer corner down to the center of my eye and give it kind of an angle. And then I do the same thing for the other side, I spray my brush, load it up, and apply it to my eye. And I think that this eye that I'm working on actually had more pigment than the first. I don't know why, but 
Then I'm going to take that, that smaller fluffing brush and I'm just going to blend those lines so they're not quite so harsh. Now I'm going to take a smud brush and I'm going to go back into Central Park and I'm going to get it as close to my lash line as I possibly can. Now I'm just putting everything away and getting ready for the next step. And I also had forgot to put my plastic thing back in my palette, so I did that before I put it up. And then I thought I was going to do this, and then I decided against it, and I decided to do eyeliner before this. And then I also decided I needed tape. Got the tape. I'm back. I probably should have used this tape from the beginning, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, and it worked out perfectly fine in this makeup look anyway, so. I really just use the tape to, for winged liner because I am very bad about getting two different angles of wings when I do them freehand, so I like to use the tape to give me a little bit of guidance. So you just lightly pat it into place, and then I take my eyeliner which is Maybelline Master Precise All Day liquid liner in black and I just start lining my eyes and then I get out of frame and come back and have it done. I couldn't do it by just looking straight at my phone I had to look in the mirror and I try to get it all lined in and I don't like to do my waterline on the top either because it always makes me jump. And then repeat the process with the second eye. I tried to start my wing and frame, and then I ended up having to go out. I really tried, but I couldn't do it with this one. So finish it out, and then put it up. Now what I'm shaking up is a liquid crystal liner by NYX. It's called Dramatic Sparkle. And it's just a silver glitter that I didn't really know how I wanted to use with this look. I just I had debated on just lining my winged liner with it. And then once I started messing with it, I decided I wanted to just cover the whole half of my lid that didn't have the blue on it, just the brown. Which, it looked pretty good. And then I just fan, 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 let it dry. And I did the same thing to the other eye. And I fan my face to make sure it dries before I lit my eye and look up. And then I just pull the tape off my face. And if you're wondering, no, this doesn't hurt because it's a very light tape. It's a tape I have in my office. Actually, I used it for this, but it worked. Then I'm taking my new eyebrow stuff. It's by e.l.f. It's called Wow Brow in Deep Brown. I had literally just got it like a couple days before. And you can see I'm struggling to open it. So eventually I just rip it and say to heck with it. Finally get it out and then pitch it because that's what we do. And then I just start working it through my brows. And then while I'm waiting for that to dry, I will do my eyelashes. I'm using my Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express Flared in black. And I do one coat on one eye, one coat on the other eye, and then I build up a second coat on the top lashes only. 
I only do the top because I, with the bottom, my lashes are long enough. I don't need to do a second coat. Once the lashes are done, I go back with the Brow Wow by e.l.f. and I'll put a second coat on just to give myself a little bit more color. I don't really care much about brows, so I don't really care if they look good or not, as long as I have a little bit more color to them. Then I decide I want to do a lip, so I had to get it out. And it is my Stila Liquid Lipstick. And bat batchy. I think that's how you say it. Batchy, bassy, could be so could however you want to say it. I get the excess off and then I just put a coat on my lips. Then you take the hair down to see the final look. Then I decide my hair looks a hot mess, so I run a brush through it really quick. And there is your final look. I really hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!